Josh, you got a lot of, you got a lot of awesome going on. Uh, uh, I, I try to keep my awesome at some like level right here. That's right. It's a little, I, I might be like here and you're like up here so on the just awesome. Just so it blocks my view of like what's really going on. Exactly. In, in exactly. Uh, first, I guess for the uninitiated, let's, uh, let's talk about like what, what is it that you're actively uh, into right now? Well, first, let's talk about the hardware store, which is really just a hill, hill away over here in the South Hills. Yeah. So, um, well, we do a lot of things, mm-hmm. uh, probably too many things. Uh, sort of the flagship these days of uh, our our work is the hardware store. Uh, at its core, it's a, it's a co-working space, a shared office space community. Um, but it's becoming so much more as we kind of iterate through different uh, models of, of what it could be. Uh, and we know each other because the hardware store has a, has a media-centric focus. It's a co-working space. Uh, that seeks to attract and seduce young media producers into its fold so that we can uh, work to find those guys jobs and uh, have a strong uh, production community here in the city. So a lot of the guys are animators and graphic designers and uh, videographers. So about half of my, my, my teams are, are, are sort of that focus. Nice, nice. Now you're starting in, um, um, you know, this of course... Uh up in Allentown, um, I, you know, there hasn't been a lot going on there for a while, especially in this field, if it seems. No, unless not there's, at all. unless there's other things hidden in there that I don't know. About there are there. hidden gems in the hilltop, but uh, the hilltop, <laughs> you know, is is you know the story of Pittsburgh, right? It was it's a neglecting neighborhood. It comes from these these great roots of of the solid blue collar middle class, and you know when the mills closed in the seventies and eighties, uh, it went with the mills uh, in that middle class never reestablished itself. So we uh, are not actually first in, I would say, a la familia, the, the upscale Italian restaurant is, is first in up there. But, you know, we like to think that we're uh, contributing and in, 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 in bringing a different character to the neighborhood, mm-hmm. but we're not interested in gentrifying it. We're, we're really interested in in seeing how our co-working community can, can help lift existing businesses that are up there and uh, provide some sort of asset delivery that's, that's going to make a difference in, in sort of how they think about themselves and how they present themselves more broadly to to their customers uh, up on the hill. Mm-hmm. I'm really just jealous we don't have something like this in Beachview. Yeah, why don't you, Mike? Why <laughs> I, you don't you I don't know. You have a maybe, start I right here, right? I think right? Kind of mm-hmm. I could sell some desks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just put a desk over there. Everybody can do their there. laundry, obviously, but... Um... <laughs> No, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's great to see that thing happen because it's definitely, you know, it feels like the innovation stops at Southside sometimes. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, we, we got great things like Alpha Lab down there. Sure, we do. And, and we got all kinds of uh, companies popping up down there, shells down there, I know. Um, yeah. And it's great to see that kind of spread even But further. that's the danger, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we don't want East Carson Street to become eight miles. So we have to make sure that mm-hmm. we are thoughtful about how we spread the smart people out across Pittsburgh and how we spread people that have, you know, disposable income and talent. We, we can't just put them all in one place. That's, that's a horrible be. idea because <laughs> when you do that, then what happens to all the other neighborhoods? Right, right. Spread it out a bit. Um, and, and I've left, like, even this neighborhood, I think, has been popping up in past probably three years especially you yeah. know seeing businesses pop up um eateries you know uh you know, uh, you know we have the coffee shop and everything you know and it's 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 a little more lively than when i used to take the train just through here and it's just that weird neighborhood mm-hmm. i never wanted to get off at yeah you know? yeah um which you know i feel like allentown to the point was for a bit too and maybe still is is getting there oh, right yeah. totally is <laughs> yeah yeah so <laughs> but that's because the county hasn't turned the tea back on as soon as the county turns the tea back on then uh you won't just fly through there like when you're going to the South Hills. Are yeah, they planning yeah. on turning the team back on? Well, I mean, we like to say they are, but they're probably not uh, anytime <laughs> yeah. in the near future. So, you know, when Pat cut all the transit stuff a couple years ago, right? Like that's that's that was one of the lines to go. So now mm-hmm. the only time the T runs through Allentown is when uh, the real line is shut down. It's like the emergency line. Now, for those not initiated, the T is the, the train line here in Pittsburgh. Um, so the kind of our subway system but mostly it's, it's light like, rail it's subway, right? it's subway for like a mile yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but yeah it's our light rail system that goes at least through the south hills or sun extended through the north yeah. it used to be everywhere <laughs> and it's awesome you know? yeah oh it's, it's amazing it's amazing it's, I, it, and that's something i'm totally jealous about this area you guys have a coffee shop dormont no coffee shops not, not to my knowledge you did we, for a we, minute we did for a minute and closed down. Well, well. And it, it closed at like seven o'clock so at night. We have a and great diner. Two great yeah, we diners. do. Have, we have a couple great diners, but mm-hmm. and yeah. a great dessert place now, right? Dessert place. Is there some kind of like cupcake dessert? I don't no, know. no, no, no. They, they, they were by the, the movie theater. They closed off. Huh? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Closed, oh yeah, they did. They were. Awesome. That was the coffee shop. That was yeah. They, well. they were like a. They were like both. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so. There you have it. Well, we don't have a coffee shop either, Mike. So, so, so if anybody wants to open a coffee shop up in Allentown, hey, maybe Crazy Mocha will get up there. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> please, Monkey Mocha up there. Um, Hold my tongue on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 